Hello, my name is Representative Pam Powers Hanley and I represent LD9 in Tucson in the Arizona House. Well, today is Tuesday, March 17, St. Patrick's Day 2020, and hopefully you are drinking your green beer at home tonight and not in a bar because we are uh, trying to fight the coronavirus with social distancing. You might have noticed that I did not post a video from the Capitol on Monday, which was yesterday, and that is because I was here at my apartment in Phoenix. So I am in Phoenix, but I was not at the Capitol yesterday. Uh, I joined in on a few phone calls and I got updates from the leadership on what's going on with the budget and perhaps even shutting down the legislature this week, which would be signy die. And so I have been keeping informed as far as the floor uh, yesterday, there were no votes. And so I decided to stay here. Um, you may know that I am over 60 years old, but what you might not know is that I have asthma. It's not real bad asthma, but I am in that high risk group. I also have a baby in the family. And so I want all of us to stay healthy. And that's why I stayed at my apartment yesterday and joined in by phone. I am going to the Capitol today and uh, we are gonna have a few votes and there is a lot going on regarding um, the obviously the response to the novel coronavirus, but also to uh, shutting down the legislature. I think that we should shut it down. Um, there have been recommendations to not be in groups of more than 50. The president said yesterday groups of more than 10. Obviously the legislature has way more than that there. And so um, there has been negotiation uh, over the weekend regarding uh, whether or not we could pass a skinny budget and get out of town. And so a skinny budget would be a budget that is pretty much like the current fiscal year budget, but with just a few changes. We have seen a spreadsheet on the skinny budget. There's not too much additional in it. Uh, we have not had the full brief on it yet though. Uh, there will be some floor votes today, um, and the budget vote could come as early as tomorrow, which would be Wednesday, March 18. And so there are a couple different options. We could pass the skinny budget and recess, which would mean we would come back and all the bills that are in the hopper would still be alive, including all those tax breaks. Uh, or we could pass the skinny budget and signy die and get out of town, which would mean the budget would be passed and all those bills in, in the queue would be dead, which is fine with me. Most of them were not necessary anyway. The other thing is that we could pass a skinny budget and also make sure that there is um, direction regarding that $55 million in emergency funds that we gave to the Arizona Department of Health Services to fight the COVID uh, novel coronavirus. Now, I prefer the final option. I would like to do the skinny budget, give a little bit of direction on that 55 million to make sure that the people of Arizona are taken care of and not just businesses. Uh, after all, you remember the, the uh, Wall Street uh, slogan from the Occupy movement, the banks got bailed out and we got sold out. I wanna make sure with the novel coronavirus response that the people of Arizona and the people of the United States are taken care of, and that includes all of you who are working in the gig economy and can't afford to stay home. We're gonna come up with funding for you for your housing, or perhaps uh, you know, uh, extension of TANF or extension of access. But uh, my priority is to make sure that all of you are taken care of.